Welcome to the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. This podcast is a safe place for us to have weekly discussions about mental health, Christ, personal development, and the tools to live our best lives. Please stay tuned for a new episode. So hey y'all, welcome to another episode of the Mentally Whole Podcast. I am your host, Lauren Green. Welcome to another show. So you know what time it is. It is time for our housekeeping announcements. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and share the podcast. I am super excited and happy to see the feedback that I already have about the podcast. Also, if you haven't listened to the BFB or BS for Boundaries series, go back and listen to episode three and episode four. I might put it in the description of the episode but i might not so (laughs) um the title of today's episode is the family feud get it family friends together boom so this was another requested topic so the half of this episode will be about friends the other half of of this episode will be about family and today we don't have a review so we're going to get right into the topic so I mentioned this book in the other two episodes but boundaries by Dr. Cloud and Dr. Townsend really helped me understand what boundaries are and helped me to reevaluate the boundaries in my own life so the important thing about boundaries to remember remember about boundaries is boundaries help keep family and friendships healthy and strong boundaries leave little room to assuming and guessing about what you want right so the first half of this episode like I said is about friendship and so I got a really good quote from the boundaries book and it stated choice and commitment are elements of a good friendship so friends really aren't like family they're not blood related to you you know they're not someone like that's in your part of your family you choose who your friends are you choose to be committed to that friendship and the first important thing about setting boundaries with friends is that you need to take the time to reevaluate your friendships determine how much value the friendship is adding to your life i think sometimes we get so caught up in oh i've known this person for 10 years oh i've known this person for eight years or five plus years whatever the amount may, may be but are they adding any value to your life granted you can know you've known them for 10 years but what value what wisdom what insights what are they adding to your life are they adding negativity to your life are they adding positivity to your life like what are they adding to your life another thing that i wanted to mention about setting boundaries and friendships is that setting boundaries and friendships exposes the foundations of it and it helps rebuild the friendship right have you ever noticed when you set a boundary with someone and they get upset and they stop talking to you right what was the foundation of that friendship what was the foundation of that relationship friendships when you set boundaries and friendships it exposes the motives and the intentions of the other person right are they setting this boundary because they love you are they setting this boundary because they don't care like what is the real motivating factor for this boundary and it will come out when you set a boundary with someone um i found an article when i was researching for this episode it's called the nine boundaries you should have you should have in your friendships according to experts so we're gonna go through maybe like four or five of the topics it depends um so the first thing the first boundary that you should set in your friendship is how you treat each other's time this is so important because we have busy lives busy schedules some of us have kids some of us don't have kids some of us are in school and when you don't respect a person's time you do not respect them drop the mic boom right You have to respect each other's time if you want the friendship to grow because time is valuable. Time is something that you cannot get back. 
the second type of boundary that needs to be set with your friends is what needs you share with them right you have to be able to express your needs to your friends you have to be able to express your needs your wants your aspirations your goals with your friends because that creates a layer of authenticity it it, um, creates a layer of honesty and it keeps the relationship growing it keeps the relationship exciting it keeps the relationship fresh and new and also when you express your needs and wants it gives you the opportunity to learn how to advocate for yourself right you are your own advocate and knowing how to advocate for yourself starts in our you know friendships it starts in our relationships honestly on how to advocate for yourself the second i mean the third type of boundary that should be set is how reciprocal you are so this is very important because being reciprocal is needed in every friendship right And also, if the relationship is one-sided where you're just giving, 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 and that person is just taking, 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 and not really giving anything, then I think it's time that you reevaluate your friendship because, you know, sometimes people will only hit you up when they need you, only hit you up when they want something from you, and that's really not how a relationship grows, right? There should be a balance in your friendships. There should be uh, 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 some type of balance in your relationship, right? There should be, you know, some days you give and they take. Some days they give and you take. There should be some form of balance and value added in your life based off of this friendship. Another type of boundary that should be set, this is a good one, is how you separate your emotions and well-being. You know, it's great to have friends that you um, talk to, that you um, do life together with. But it's also another thing when you start to rely on this person for your emotional well-being, your physical well-being, and your mental well-being when you start to become more dependent on them than god and more dependent on them just more dependent than than them than god then you are crossing the line into codependency codependency means that you are relying on them for your emotional state right you're relying on them for your mental state and that is codependency right and when you fall into codependency your personal identity becomes their personal identity becomes your personal identity you need to be able to separate your own needs and your wants and your personal identity from your friend's identity it's okay to be an individual it's okay to be unique God has called us to be unique. Another type of boundary in this will be the last one is whether you are able to say no. Right? Our relationships needs a level of flexibility. We need a level of flexibility in our relationships. Right? And we also need to need to know how to say no. And when you say no, that 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 explains to your friend like, hey, this is what they need. This is what they want. This it explains what you like and what you dislike. I said this in like episode three, that boundaries explain what you like and what you dislike. And when you are able to say no, right? You're able to say no. You are showing them, you know, what your boundaries are. And if you're unable to say no, you can become a people pleaser. And we don't really want you to become, I don't really want you to become a people pleaser. Um, Because that means you say yes to a lot of things. Right? Right. So we are going to put a pin in the friendship portion of the episode and we are going to get into the family part the family feud part of the episode 
So the one thing that you have to consider about setting boundaries with family is that you have to recognize family patterns and cycles that are still continuing in the present. Um, you have to realize that pattern the patterns that you learn in childhood are continued in adulthood. Patterns that you've seen since the ch- since a child do not just stop when you become an adult. They are still there when you are when you are an adult and they are still there i'm saying it again the patterns that you've had as a child are still there when you become an adult it is important to recognize family patterns and cycles because it will show you what boundaries you need to set it'll also show you what you need to what what you need to do going forward and what steps you need to take like for example if all of your family members have high blood pressure right and you want to stop that cycle you will what drink more water eat healthier exercise you'll set boundaries around food how much food you eat when you eat all that good stuff you'll set boundaries to avoid or prevent um high blood pressure and also another thing about family is that I got this quote from Dr. Cloud and Dr. Townsend. Shout out to them. I would love to meet them if they ever if they are still alive. I don't know how old they are, but if they're still alive, holla at me. Um, another thing about family, I got this quote from the book. It says, we begin to act out of memory instead of growth. So sometimes when family are around and we're not really strong enough in our growth in our boundaries that sometimes we'll begin to act out of memory like oh this is what we've been doing for years you know let's keep you know let's do it but that's not really healthy because you're not acting out of growth you're not practicing what you're learning you're just acting out of what you already know another important thing to remember when setting boundaries with family is that you can set boundaries and still love them you can still love them no matter what no matter what you can still love them yes it might be hurtful yes it might be painful but you can still love them anyway anyhow another thing important thing about boundaries i didn't write this down but with family you have to forgive 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 forgive. the bible says forgive 70 times 70 times 7, I think. And we have to continuously forgive, 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 forgive. Because I think the one thing that we have to remember when setting boundaries with family is that you might set a boundary, but your family members and even your friends might not see it as love. They might see it as rejection. They might see it as abandonment. They might not see it as neglect i think we have to remember that when we set a boundary with someone how they respond shows how healed they are or how much growth they have attained is showed by how someone responds and sometimes we have to be mindful in what we say and how we set these boundaries because sometimes people are not fully healed so when you set the boundary they might take it as rejection they might take it as uh, a fear or something they might take it as um hurt pain like you're hurting me or this is painful to me and we have to be mindful of how we say things you know we have to sometimes put a little sugar or honey when we say um certain things to friends and family right so for this week's wrap up i want you guys to assess your family patterns and cycles to identify um, boundaries that you need to set in your life so before we go i'm going to actually put a link to a survey that i want each of you to fill out um it's survey it's a survey about different um podcast topics it's a survey for me to get to know who my listeners are because I really want to get to know you guys and the more I know the better the content will be so be on the lookout for that survey in the description box and I hope you guys have a great week